Hey Zoe, do you know anything about the game shuttlecock kicking? Hmm. Yeah, Anna, I think I heard that it's like around for a thousand years, but that's all I know about it. Yeah, I think you're right, but I know two teachers who are really good at it. Do you want to ask them to show us? Yeah, sure. Let's go. Hi, Dr. Wong and Dr. Chan. Hi. Hi. It's really nice to meet you. So me and Zoe are really interested in shuttlecock kicking. Could you guys let us know more about the origin? Shuttlecock kicking is a traditional oriental sport originated in China. And its primary source is a Chinese ancient game called Cu Ju, invented over 2000 years ago, which is thought to be the earliest form of football. While Cu Ju is a ball, or like a footback or hacky sack, shuttlecock looks more like a badminton like this one. And while Tuju is both a widespread popular pastime and a competitive professional game, notably as a military physical exercise since Han Dynasty and a court sport popular among the upper class, Shuttlecock, on the other hand, uh, which was invented later, has mainly been a pastime for civilians. And while Tuju, like modern football, involves kicking a ball through an opening into a net. Shuttlecock players aim to keep a shuttlecock in the air with any part of their bodies other than hands or arms. It can be played by one player, two players or a circle of players in a street or park with the objective to keep the shuttle up in the air. It can also be played artistically to show off skills. Only very recently, like uh, last century, shuttlecock has been introduced as a competitive professional sport played on a badminton court with rules quite similar to volleyball, except not with hands. The shuttlecock typically has four feathers, you see, fixed into a rubber sole or plastic discs, like these ones. And some handmade shuttlecocks may use washes or coins with a hole in the center. It's primarily balanced and propelled upward using parts of the leg, especially the feet. Skilled players may employ a powerful overhead kick and in China, the sport usually has two playing forms, circle kick among a few people and duo kick between two kickers or two teams. So when did you start playing shuttlecock and is it popular in Hong Kong? Well, I started playing uh, shuttlecock when I was a primary school student. Back then, it was very popular uh, sports and activity uh, in the primary school and secondary school as well. Uh, normally we have a physical education class, but also when we have a leisure time out of school, yeah, we also like to uh, like go downstairs to um, just hang out with friends and have a little bit of uh, shuttlecock uh, game. Yeah, so I know that um, shuttlecock kicking is played in some other Western countries and Korea. I'm curious, like, how did it become so popular? And are there any international competitions too? Well, for Korea, According to some historical record, uh, it shows that uh, shuttlecock has been exported to Korea like uh, back to uh, like 900 to 1000 AD ever since the uh, Korean adopted this uh, traditional sport. Uh, for the recent uh, days, we noticed that there's a trend of being internationalized of this kind of sports. Uh, like uh, 20 years ago, there's been an international association of uh, shuttlecock established and there's been a lot of international competition ever since. In fact, why don't you join me to have a little bit of free fun experience?
knee kick. And step kick. Inside kick. Outside kick. In professional games, we need a net of this tall, like uh, 1.6 meters for men and 1.5 meters for women. But today we are just practicing. And well, this is not a badminton court, so uh, we use this table. Uh, instead. Thank you so much Dr. Wong and Dr. Chan. I really had so much fun playing shuttlecock today. You're welcome, welcome Anna and Zoe. Yeah, thank you. I had so much fun as well. And students, if you want to join as well, catch us on the court for some good exercise and a great time.